Okay, so this is a quick video tour of the Jayhawk house, which is on the 900 block of Mississippi. So you can see um, lots of cars parked along the edge of the street. That's going to happen because these are all probably rentals and we're really close to campus right now. Um, so walking up to it, you know, you can see where the siding has just been kind of like peeled with paint and repainted over and over again. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of rot or anything like that. Um, walking inside the house, we've got what looks to be original hardwood floors and combination living room, dining room space. There is paneling that's been painted on the walls and it looks like single pane um, windows here, wood case windows at the front. For some reason, this door is like not catching and won't really stay shut. So I'm just gonna lock the deadbolt there to keep it shut. Um, when I walked in, the first thing I would say is there's definitely a strong smell of pot in this house. Um, okay, so view here, you can see four great. Fours look really good overall. Okay, so um, walking straight forward, we're gonna go into the kitchen. And the whole house has this like older drop ceiling sort of thing going on. You can see some damage around that light there. Um, and in the kitchen, the kitchen is um, a bit smaller, but it has been updated. You've got granite countertops in here. And I would say these cabinets are definitely newer than the construction itself. Um, the layout of the kitchen is a little bit funky because you've got the refrigerator like right next to this door frame here, but not bad. Ceramic tile here. There is some damage to the ceramic tile on the edge of this door and you can see that they've tried to use kind of like a spray foam to connect it. And this door leads out into the washer dryer room. There's vinyl flooring in this room and you can see it was added on at some point because here is the back of what used to be the house and they've boarded up this window and then this is the door that brings you out to um, the outside so you can see just some patchwork here um simple light bulb and the electric panel here on this back wall okay okay so then that's crazy. Okay, so there's like a deadbolt on this door and you can see straight through to the outside on this deadbolt. So that's just letting a bunch of cold air in. This door is metal that's on here though. Um, so hopefully that seals well enough to kind of block it. So a hole in the ceiling right there. Almost looks a little purposeful, like maybe somebody ran a cable through it or something at some point. You can see they've got speakers up on the walls here. I didn't notice this when I first walked in, but these tiles are damaged. I was standing right underneath them, which is why I didn't see it. So a little bit of damaged tile there. Okay, so turning the corner, um, we come into this little hall area where you can see I come to three doors and what appears to be a closet. So attic fan directly above me. What looks to be attic access, again, just the drop ceiling here, and it's kind of falling down next to that attic area. Looks like there was supposed to be a fire alarm there that's been removed. Um, this looks like it was probably a return vent at some point, and they've just kind of like put this piece of wood in here. So a little bit of a storage closet right here. And then this is bedroom number one. So pretty decent size overall. Um, again, a little bit of damage and movement in the drop ceiling here. And this is a little bit different ceiling tile than what is in the other rooms, but quite similar. You've got plaster on these walls, which is not uncommon for the age of this house. And it just doesn't um, hold up as well to settling. So you can see some of these cracks and things. It looks like there was a patch that was done here at some point. And you've got two small closets in this room. So, you know, closet number one actually goes a little 
sideways. You've definitely got water damage in here. That's a decent amount of water damage. It doesn't smell like mold, but um, it's a good amount of water damage there. And then other closet here. And again, this whole wall is just kind of bowed and damaged. Like it's hard to see because there's no light in here. Um, but this thing is all bowed out here. It's damaged up here, damaged down here. And it feels like it's bubbled out quite a bit. I wish you could see that better. Okay, yeah. Now you can kind of see all that damage I'm talking about. That's pretty significant in that corner. Okay, so walking out of this bedroom, and you can just see some more cracking here along the plaster. So right when I leave this bedroom, here's another angle of that tile that I said was kind of falling down and you can see a little bit better what I was talking about. Um, opening this door, we're gonna come into the bathroom space. So bathroom's got a fan that's connected to the light. It automatically kicks on, plaster ceiling. So it's you know, just a little bit of peeling off and damage. The door is missing from this cabinet. And you've got vinyl flooring in here too. I mean, judging um, around the color of the vinyl around the toilet and the bathtub here, it looks like there was probably some water leaking at some point. They've got this board that's just kind of like laid up against the wall to cover this big gap here, which is interesting. Um, and then the bathtub is just like a bathtub shower insert sort of situation. You've got some alligator kind of texturization on the paint here. You know, I would guess partially from moisture from the shower, but also I wouldn't be surprised if given the age of the house, there might be some lead based paint in the house. And sometimes it gets that alligator texture as it ages. Um, but I don't believe it's been tested, so I can't say that for sure. Um, okay, so this is bedroom number two. And again, um, it's a pretty decent size. It's actually bigger than the first bedroom that we were just in. Um, you can see some cracks along the ceiling, again, for the plaster here. And it looks like maybe they tried to fill a crack there. Um, again, the single pane windows throughout the property and then single closet here as well. Um, just for reference, these windows look out the front of the property, so that's onto Mississippi, which is where the porch faces, um, and this window faces north, so north is towards, um, like, 6th Street. Okay, so coming back out of here, I'm going to go ahead and hit this light, um, and... Just one more quick buzz around the property. Okay. And of course into the add-on here. And then let's just go ahead and pop outside. Maybe. Oh, this wasn't even, okay. The deadbolt wasn't even locked. Okay, so this brings you out onto this porch here on the side. And you can see on the side of the house here, distance between your neighbor. There's quite a bit of parking in the back of this property, which is awesome. I mean, they've paved this whole section so multiple people can park here. And you can see walking around this corner, you've got a little walkway here. And it looks like here is the ability to get into the basement. Um, so I am just going to actually I should have shut the door behind me before I move this far. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut this door really quick. And then we'll go into the basement. I apologize for that. Got distracted. Wasn't really thinking. Okay. So. Coming around the side here. They've definitely got a chair and stuff on top of this roof. So they've just been like sitting on top of this roof. The other thing I would say is the roof lining here is super flat, right? And it looks like they've got shingles on top of that roof and they absolutely shouldn't because they're gonna hold water um, because that roof doesn't have enough pitch 
to have shingles on it. It should be like a rubber membrane potentially. A um, little bit of damage and rot going on in the corner down here. As we're headed towards the basement, I'm realizing that I might have to grab the key from the front. So um, I'm gonna step down here and if this doesn't open, it does not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the key from the front and then we'll start this section.